Today, I wanna do some 3D flower nails using some solid moldable gel. The gel that you can kind of roll around in between your fingers. This design is really, really popular right now and I can see why. It's a cool way to do 3D nail art. This could also replace nail charms. So they're kind of like DIY nail charms in a way. So to do this, what I'm gonna use is the Glaze Soft Gel Kit. I'm just gonna go ahead and start by sizing up these nail tips to my nail natural nail. Let me grab a tip for my pointer finger and I'm just going to make sure that the tip fits my nail from side wall to side wall. So on the sides of the nail we do not see any of my natural nail peeping through there. So I went on and picked out the rest of my nail tips off camera. Here's them all laid out here. So in my last video, I did not prep, but today we're prepping. Let's go ahead and open up this box. I have all of my sanding bands in here. I'm just gonna get one. And this is a low grit sanding band. I'm gonna pop off my old one so I can put on this fresh sanding in and I have my Kiara Sky Draw. I'm just gonna put it on 5 RPM. I really don't ever like to have it too fast. All I'm doing is lightly removing the shine, the natural shine of my nail. So just really, really quick across the nail. And if you don't have a nail drill, you can use a hand file just to lightly remove the shine. All right, and that's good. I am gonna go ahead and get out my dehydrator and put one coat of that dehydrator. This removes any oils in your nail to prevent your nails from lifting. Step two, primer. Grab some primer and put one coat of that down. And then now I can go ahead and get my tip glue. And I like to put one coat of tip glue on my natural nail. And I'm gonna go ahead and have that cured for 30 seconds. My nail seems to always last the longest when I buff the inside of my nail tip first. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna take my drill and just go ahead and etch the inside of that tip. And then it'll look like that. And then I'm gonna take some primer and coat the inside of the tip with primer with one layer. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get that tip glue back out. I'm gonna coat the inside of the nail with one layer of tip glue. And then I'm gonna scrape the excess of the tip glue onto the edge just like that. And I'm gonna give the nail a little squeeze. <laughs> and this just helps me keep all of that glue on the inside while I'm applying the nail tip to my nail. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and press down. And as you can see, all of that glue is on the inside and none of it is sliding out. And I'm gonna stop pressing once that glue reaches the free edge of my natural nail. And we're gonna go ahead and slide it under the UV lamp. Let that cure for 60 seconds. All right, our pointer finger is down and now I just gotta do the rest of the nails really quick. Okay, I have all of the nails on. Now I'm just gonna take my drill and uh, go across the cuticle area to seal that cuticle. This drill bit is from Kiara Sky. I really like using this drill bit better than the other one that I showed you guys before. I'm gonna put the two on the screen so you guys can see it. But yeah, I think this one kind of seals the cuticle a little bit better.
So I have acetone on this brush right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it across the cuticle area to melt that cuticle down. And this is how it looks from a side view. All nice and tucked in. So next is shaping. I just wanna sharpen my stilettos a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back in with my drill and drill in on both sides of the nail. And to go on the other side of the nail, I'm gonna put my drill in reverse. And then I'm just gonna take this file and just go in and file on both sides. And this is a light file. I really don't have to file too much to sharpen this. Just a little one, two, and then we're done. And we are all shaped just like that. So we are doing 3D flower nails, of course, but first I want to try out the shell nail trend that is also very popular right now. I haven't tried it yet. This will be my first time trying it. I just wanna show you guys like the picture of a seashell and we're just gonna mimic that pattern that we see on here and also the ridges that's on the seashell too. So of course, first I'm gonna start with a nude base. This is a nude that's gonna be in my upcoming collection, my nude collection with glaze, so stay tuned. And I'm just gonna do two coats of this to get the shade that I want. And I just went on and did that new base on all of the nails. I feel like that is going to be the base of the design for every single nail. And I'm just gonna start with the French design. I am not going to cure this at all. I'm going to leave this uncured. I have some brown, some shades of brown here. I'm just going to take my liner brush, my fine liner brush, and I'm just going to flick it back and forth on that wet white gel. Now some people use blooming gel to do this, but I feel like you get the same look when you just put it right on the uncured white gel and just go back and forth. Just gonna go down the sides of the nail, get that excess gel off. And once you're satisfied with the look of it, you can go ahead and cure. Let's go ahead and cure that. I kind of want a little chrome on top. Let's go ahead in with this rub one gel from Kiera Sky. I'm gonna put one coat of that on top, one thin layer. And I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. So I have this sculpting tool and I'm just gonna dip it in the chrome and rub that nail down. And the rub on gel just makes putting on chrome a lot easier in my opinion. And now top coat. I'm just gonna put one layer of that top coat. Now for the little ridges that's in the shells. So I'm just gonna get this gem gel and I'm gonna put it on my fine liner brush. And I really want the majority of the gel to be at the tip of the fine liner brush. So just having a glob on it, just kind of looking like it's ready to drip off. And that's where I'm gonna start, right at the tip of the stiletto nail in the middle and ease my way up. 
and I'm gonna stop right where the French line stops at, right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and cure. I find that you have to cure in between lines. You can't do all of the lines at one time and then cure because they will start to kind of look like a, a glob of mess and we don't want it to look like that. I'm just gonna go in again on the side and I'm probably just gonna edit this just so it goes right to the next line, but just know I am curing in between lines. And I'm just gonna take some top coat and just go over it with some top coat. I really don't have the time or the energy to go down each one of these lines with a thin fine liner brush with top coat. We're just gonna put another layer of top coat on top <laughs> and I, I think it's gonna look just fine. All right, and we are done with the shell now. Let's get to what y'all came here for, which is the 3D flowers. So I'm gonna start this out with some matte top coat because I wanna do kind of like a aura design underneath. So one thin layer of that matte top coat. And then I'm going into Cure for 60 seconds. I really want the colors to be tropical colors. So I'm thinking some orange, some pink. I'm gonna take this orange pigment powder here. I have it on my brush. I'm just gonna just go ahead and start dabbing in the middle where I want it to be the darkest. I said pink, so I'm gonna do a pink one too on the ring finger. That looks good. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that matte polish and float it on top of my Aura Design. Just putting down a glob of that matte polish first and floating that brush on top of the gel polish to coat the whole nail with the matte so that I do not mess up my aura nail design. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. Now for this 3D flower. So I have this Flex Gel from Kiera Sky, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this flex gel out. I really wanna put the same chrome that I put on the pointer finger on this flower, but I don't wanna rub it on. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this chrome and boop, <laughs> just dump it on top of that. And we're gonna roll all of that together to infuse that chrome in that gel. Let's roll this out to look like a little worm. And then I'm just gonna cut it up into five different pieces. And each piece is a petal. So I'm gonna take each piece and roll it up into a ball. And uh, FYI, off camera, I decided I wanted to do like a little open Frenchie, but then after curing it, I realized, well, this is not really gonna matter anyways, because we're gonna have a flower on top of it. 
but I already cured it. So we're not gonna start over. So we're gonna leave this just like this and put this flower on top. I'm gonna take this nail art sculpting tool and push the ball down in the middle towards the center of the flower. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all of the petals. And I'm really gonna pinch it, kind of pinch it towards the edge of the petal. Just do whatever you need to do to kind of mold it to look like the petal of a flower or the petal of the flower that you kind of want to mimic. And before I cure, I want to put some caviar beads in the center of this and then I'll cure. So for the pink finger, I want to do the same thing, like the same type of flower, but have it like kind of on the edge of the nail. So I already put three little balls. I'm just gonna do the same thing I did on the other nail and kind of form it into petals. And I'll go ahead and add those caviar beads. Kind of want to add some design, uh, extra design in here. So I'm just going to do a little swoop upward. And then I have my dotting tool. I'm just going to do like maybe four dots. Now that I'm like looking at the other flower, like the flower on the orange nail, I wanna outline it. Let's just wait on that for now and start on the pinky. Let's get the pinky out of the way. So I'm just gonna do a French nail on the pinky. So just a regular French nail here. I would do another shell nail, but I feel like that will make it look even more busier than what it already looks like. So we're just gonna do something super plain <laughs> on the pinky. After I cured that, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some dots. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put one coat of that rub on gel from Kiara Sky. We're gonna cure for 60 seconds and then go ahead and rub on that chrome, the same chrome that we used before. Now I know y'all gonna look at this and say this needs a little bit something more cause I'm looking at it and I'm thinking the same thing. So this is the Good as Gold Gel Pod from Kiara Sky. And I'm just going around the petal. Honestly, like just looking at this already, like it's not popping the way I want it to pop. I went on and did the whole thing off camera and y'all just look at that. It's not really saying anything in my opinion. Like it's not popping, but good thing I did not care yet. So I'm just gonna wipe this off. See how much better that looks. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off this last petal. I did some little strokes in the middle of the petal. And that is really coming together, y'all. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I 
I'm just gonna take this brush and I have a little bit of top coat on top. I am just going to glaze over it with some top coat. All right, and uh, we are done. Just call me the female and the nail version of Picasso with these nails, with these flowers on my nails, because that's how I feel right now. And I feel like I redeemed myself from the last time that I did it. I didn't do horrible, but I just felt like a little bit more could go into it. And even now, I feel like if I would do it again, I will only get better at doing it. So it just goes to show you, just keep on doing it and you will improve every single time. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this nail set in the description down below. This set was done with glazed. So make sure you check out Glaze. The link will be in the description down below. Definitely, definitely try this nail set. That is pretty much it. That's the whole entire video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe and join the family. I post about nails every single weekend. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys same day, same time in my very next video.